Hi everyone, this is Rach from squarestylist.com and in this video, I'm going to share how you can easily add a language switcher to your Squarespace website. This is powered by Google Translate, so note that these translations are machine generated, but the beauty of it is you can enable any language that's supported by Google Translate. In this video, I'm also going to share how you can easily change the style of this switcher such that it will match your branding. And I will also walk you through how to enable this different languages. Before anything else, I'd like to credit this code pen entry by Jay Holtzlander, which was my reference in styling the Google Translate widget. This set of codes is linked to this video. Our first step is to provide the reference to our Google material icons. So I'm just going to copy this and then we need to add this to settings, advanced code injection, and preferably the header area. And then our second step is to reference the jQuery library. Note that if you are using other plugins, it is most likely that you already have this jQuery code referenced so just make sure this is not duplicated i'm just going to copy this and add it to the footer area there are times that you might have pasted it to the header area that's fine as long as as it's not duplicated our next step is to define the languages you wish to be supported these are just placeholders you may have just two or three languages you may refer to this linked document for a list of language codes. So for example, if you'd like to include Tagalog, for example, so I can just copy this language code and then this is what I need to add to our list separated by comma. So I can add TL, copy this, and then this is what we'd like to paste under the jQuery reference. Now our next step is to just copy these relevant scripts. So I'll just copy this and switch to our Squarespace site again. And then as soon as we click and save, we'll have all the elements and scripts that we need running, but we just need to style the switcher button. To style our language switcher, our first step is to define our CSS variables. And if you're not yet familiar with CSS variables, please check out my free course, Square One, about the basics of CSS in Squarespace. So I'll just copy this and then I'll let you know later how it will be handy in styling our language switcher. So we need to go to design custom CSS or we can use our shortcut forward slash and then type CSS, paste it right here, and then click and save. Now our next step is to add the last set of CSS. Let me just paste that right here. And upon refresh, we'll find that our language switcher is now visible, but our variables will come handy if we'd like to style our switcher. So for example, if I'd like my background to be a solid white instead of this one, which has opacity or transparency, I can switch this to the hex code of the white color. So it's just hash FFF. And then if you'd like to change the border, for example, to red, that will work. And then the down icon color is the color of this drop down. So I can change this to any color, for example, purple. And then our language icon color currently is blue. We can change this to purple as well. And then the translate text color is the color of our select language um, initially, and then it will change to the language text. So this we can also change this to red just so it's visible. And then if you have a custom font, you can also specify it here. So right now it's just says sans serif. So for example, if you have a custom font, for example, this one is Arpheus Pro, 
I can change this to Orpheus Pro. O R P H E U S P R O. And we'll find that it changed. So if we'd like the, trans the background color to be a darker color, for example, black, that will work as well. We just need to make sure all the other elements will have enough contrast. So we can switch everything to white, such that it will be visible. And it will also look this way on mobile. I hope this Google Translate feature will be handy. If you're interested in learning more about CSS and JavaScript in Squarespace, please check out my course, Standout Squarespace, and join the waitlist.